Well, Hi. welcome to the show. This is your Thank very you. first time. My on very the first time. Program. It is. I'm so excited. I can't even tell you. I'm such a huge fan and have been for years. I'm I'm sort of freaking out right now. I'm very. I'm just so thrilled to be here. I had a. VHS tape of you on Carson that I would play over and over again. How old were you? I was about seven, and I I was obsessed with comedy as a kid. I was a weird kid who didn't go outside ever. And I would just stay inside and watch comedy, and my parents knew that I loved watching stand-up, so they would tape late night shows for me. And um, I had your Carson tape, and I wore it out, and I memorized your um, phone call to God bit is one of my favorite. It's the best stand-up routine of all time. It, is. It's, it really is incredible. Thank you. And I, yeah. So, phone call to God. That is a seven-year-old to get that. And then I know you did stand up. Did you like as a kid? Did you do that routine? I d I memorized it, and I I did it for show and tell. And I I wish I could say I did you proud, but the kid before me had like a shark tooth that he brought in from the Bahamas, that really killed. But and I. It, it was a hard act to follow. And then I, I did your bit, but I was taking those great comedic pauses that you had while you're waiting on the line, and I just had this room full of second graders staring at me. <laughs> and I also went in and I said, like, it's Ellen, Ellen DeGeneres. And they're like, who is she? Why is she? Why? <laughs> That's not her name? <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I'm just so thrilled to well, be here. Well, first of all, thank, thank you. you very much. And I, I tell you, for a long time before I did that on Carson, uh, I had a room full of adults that didn't listen to those pauses either. Oh. So it took a long time for people to, to let me have those long pauses. But for a seven-year-old, that's really uh, impressive oh. that you actually grasp that concept. So I'm, I, I'm impressed by oh. you. And now you're on Big Bang Theory, which is so impressive. Oh. I mean, I mean, and I know that everybody gets along and everybody, it's a great set, right? You it's a dream. Yeah. It is a dream. And I came into the show later and they all couldn't have been more welcoming. It's yeah. just such a huge family and I love it. And, yeah. And we're right on the lot, right by yeah. you. And they have, um, they, there's all these, you know, beautiful posters outside of all the shows. And I was so excited when, um, when I was on the poster and I brought my parents by the lot to show them when they came to visit. And I was like, look to your right. And they just went, Ellen! <laughs> we're so, so excited. And we drove by again. They're like, oh, there, there you are, too. There you are. <laughs> yeah. No, that's a cool, I love that poster they put up of y'all. I think that's really cool. Um, that's funny that your family did that. Um, <laughs> so uh, there's, yeah. Um, so let's talk about the bronze. So this is impressive. So you produced it, you wrote it, you star in it, mm -hmm. and uh, and tell it's it, very very funny. Tell everybody oh, what it is. Thank you. So I play a gymnast who wins the bronze medal on a torn Achilles, and then flash forward ten years later, she's living on her dad's basement in her dad's basement. She hasn't done anything with her life, and then she's faced with a decision when a young athlete comes to town: does she train her or does she sabotage her in order to preserve her own legacy? And you wrote it with your husband, right? I did, yes. And was that good or hard or? Um, we're, we started as writing partners before we got together, so we sort of had this good dynamic. We have like a best idea wins mentality, mm -hmm. which I'm sort of trying to like bleed into our relationship. Like, uh -huh. like best idea is for you uh -huh. to take out the garbage. Uh -huh. <laughs> but we, and we had a great time filming together. We were in, we shot it in Ohio. And so we, we drove to set together, and there was this, um, we're lucky we got out, because there was this one night where we were driving home, and the cops pulled us over, because I guess he was speeding, my husband was speeding, and so the cop comes over, and my, my husband is trying to explain to him what was happening, and um, he, he was trying to get out of the ticket, basically. And he reached into the back seat to grab the call sheet from where we were to tell him that we were there doing a movie, and when he turned to reach in the back, the cop thought he was pulling out a gun, and so he's like, S put your hands on the steering wheel. And it became a whole situation. And he asked me to get out of the car. And then he called for backup. And he was asking me if I was kidnapped. Oh my God. And then all of a sudden, he put a flashlight in my face and said, are you Bernadette Wallowitz Wastenkowski? <laughs> and, and then all of a sudden, they let us off, which was really great. And then they gave us, we were on our way to Friendlies. And they gave us a police escort to Friendlies. Oh, well, it was very nice. It ended very well. It did. It ended well. Wow.